Sunday, April 15th, 2018. We're going to take a look at this weekend and the weather. Um, we're just going to start out here because it says it all there. Uh, fires, dust storms, severe weather, blizzard conditions, thunder, snow, this storm has it all. Now that was from Friday the 13th. I'm sure, uh, you know, all this perfect series of events just randomly all collided but we're just gonna scroll through here and look Let's start this is starting out Friday I'm not gonna read it, read it all but here's blizzard warnings here's fires in Oklahoma there was a fire locally in West Virginia of smoke hole caverns uh, tornadoes I bet my buddy at work that there would be 13 tornadoes on uh, Friday the 13th, there's fire burning, Oklahoma, but there was actually 16 tornadoes that touched down on Friday the 13th, so I was off by three. Louisiana, blizzard and high plains, tornado damage. Tornado damage. And it was the bad weekend for the weather. I knew all this was coming. Show you how I knew in a minute. And as you can just see, this crazy weather across the whole country. Well, from, you know, the central plains. East Texas on up through the Northeast, Southeast. Just scrolling through. Mississippi tornado. Some more snow. I seen a friend of mine on Facebook in Buffalo that was snow, ice, and sleet, and rain today. Now, it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit here the past three days. About 60 degrees Fahrenheit when I woke up. It's just now starting to rain. It's sprinkling out. But we'll get to the current weather here soon. I just want to scroll through there to show you all the damage. Now, We'll just take a look. Here's some screenshots I took. Starting from the, I believe these images are from the 12th. Let's see here. If it clears up. This is the 10th. Okay, we'll, we'll start back at the 10th. The 11th. The 11th. Okay, here we have the 12th. So this was Thursday. This is how you know something bad's going to happen, okay? And this is where these storms started popping off at here in central and eastern Texas, right? And then they moved their way one eastward to. We'll show you here in a minute. But here's right before them storms start popping up. What do we see? Frequency patterns. What did we see here? Ooh, some uh, microwave signatures. Okay. Boom, they're cooking it. And this is right before, the, and you can watch the next rats. Here, we'll watch the next rats. From them, four days. Here it goes. Starts Thursday night. Blooms up. You can see how they how they move. Okay, next day. Boom. Bloom up. And then these storms start popping off in East Texas. But you can see the way these waves travel, and then you can go back to a image like this. Because I'd like to it shows you the wind direction and all that. Right? Where are we at? Here's uh 
14th. This is yesterday. Storms moving and made it over to about Alabama. But you can see these next threads up front blooming up and you see these signatures. Next frame. This is the most past 24 hours here. Okay, and then we'll get a current. And you can see these microwave patterns right here. Once these storms always reach like the Central Carolinas, you'll start seeing these microwave patterns. There's something here. Up there. I believe there is a paved pause unit in South Carolina. It would be part of the space fence. It's a phased array. It's like radar for higher up. Okay, we'll get back to my photos. We'll just scroll through. You always see these microwave patterns, frequency patterns, before the storms start popping up ahead of them. Now, meteorologists would call them gravity wave clouds. But, you know, that's kind of insinuating that gravity fluctuates, which, you know, you can't have shit both ways. Just scrolling through these real quick. This was the picture took, uh, I believe, covered that in my video yesterday. But just covering the whole weekend here, showing you. Day after day, it was the same thing. It just moved a little bit further east. And then you'll see these, I'll show you in this one image where the storm centers around. I believe it's this one. Watch out. This is the cent center right here. Right in Iowa. It's all rotating around this transmitter. Now these are, this is winter-like conditions. Probably from, well I know it was warm down here, but up further north is winter-like conditions. And you can see this spinning here. And then it's starting, it moves further east. Now it's starting to spin around this next rad in north, northern Illinois. Back to photos. We'll just scroll through these. You can see where this line of storms are. And then you can see the chem filth from the plains. More gravity wave clouds. See all this filth out in front of that. Now this is this morning. It was a clear sky here in Cumberland. Now, like I said, like 60 degrees. Now it's completely overcast, but look at this Swiss cheese looking shit. Hurry, right, look at this. Cheese grater looking shit. Okay, here's from earlier, 7 a.m., quarter after actually. But you can see the microwave pattern right here. This is because what this is interference, so what's ever showing up is operating at the same frequency as NexRad. And we know there's a paved pause unit. At the England Air Force Base here in the Panhandle. So this could quite possibly be a signature from that. Here we got more lines right here. Part of a microwave pattern. And these are most recent images right here. Now we'll go up here. See with this this the most current images. And you can just see that how quick this they're forcing this storm. And you can even see the microwave patterns rolling up here. You can see it. Just 
cooking. Look at that there near Jacksonville, just cooking. And then all this filth off the case left by the planes. What else we got? Same, a little further north. Carolinas off the case. You can see the roll pushing northward. Cooking, they're probably getting it pretty good there in Kentucky. Let's see here. No, yeah, maybe. The heaviest would be this red line here, right in central North Carolina. And like, we're getting the microwave patterns on these current images, too. Right. Yeah, right here was a good one, right there. You can see the rip pattern. Something causing that interference there. Okay, now we're going to look at this is the lower level water vapor imagery. It's current, but look down here at the Yucatan peninsula and this explosion of water vapor just cooking just feeding this storm now this is right where Harvey Harvey came Hurricane Harvey he got hit with something at Puerto Rico and then he nobody paid attention to him till all of a sudden once he got back to the Yucatan tip here he just exploded and went straight into Houston Right. But you, you'll note where these water vapor explosions always usually happen right over land. Okay, now we'll take a closer look at that. This is the Yucatan. It just looks like explosions happen there. I mean, you can see the planes going by, just laying, and then it just it's just streams of shit flying off like it literally looks like a bomb went off or fireworks or some shit here is the clean wave so we can see the intensity the heat look at this right here just cooking that's intense that's hot black is hot but yeah i just wanted to uh Go through this weekend. This is current images. Okay. And we'll end on a see where what the weather's gonna do for the next few days here. This goes by three hour bits, frames. More snow coming for people further up north, I believe. They can stay up there because it's been nice here. I don't want to get sick again. I've been sick. It's been 80 degrees one day and then you wake up the snow. This is Thursday. And then Friday, 420 on Friday. All right, so that's my report. I just wanted to show that insane weather that we knew was coming because this started the 11th here, right, right there, 11. And what happens Thursday night? This. And then what happens the next day? Boom. All right, well, that's my report for Sunday, April 15th, 2018. We'll check back in at a later date.